they have a new, a pretty new, magnificent uh, arena, as you probably have heard. Uh, and we're getting exact numbers out, but we're either close to or over one million people wanting to go. Uh, we have a 22,000-seat arena, but I think we're going to also take the convention hall next door, and that's going to hold 40,000. So we'll have 22,000 plus 40,000, which would mean that we'd have over 900,000 people that won't be able to go, but uh, hopefully they'll be watching. But it's, uh, it's an amazing. Nobody's ever heard of numbers like this. And we expect to have, uh, you know, it's like a record-setting crowd. We've never had an empty seat, and we certainly won't in Oklahoma. Oh, I couldn't help myself. I had to say something because, as you can tell, well, listen, you can't make this up. I didn't make it up. This was the imposter in the White House before the Tulsa rally. He was basically saying it's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be many people are saying it's going to be tremendous. It's going to be tremendous. Wowie. Okay, this is what he was saying before this, (laughs) this rally that was supposed to be epic. You know what I mean? This was supposed to be something we have never seen. This is a political history, political history in the making. That is what he was basically telling us. Okay, let me tell you, give you a little bit of background. They're, they're alleging that the K-pop fans basically bought up like hundreds of tickets each, right? So that he actually thought that he had a million people that RSVP'd. First of all, how stupid can you guys be to believe that a million people were RSVPing for you in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Have you ever had a rally that big? You think that you actually have that kind of base? That's what you actually thought, that a million people would risk their lives in order to come and hear you talk and mumble and jumble and fumble the entire time? You think that's what people really were going to do? But nevertheless, they couldn't foresee that, right? Because they're just not intellectually equipped to understand things like that. But here he is bragging about how this is just going to be so huge. And then here we see exactly what happened. This is so empty. I'm telling you, if I wanted to, I could build a house right there in the middle of the crowd and there still would be space. I could put a dresser in there, a bed, put a kitchen in there. Like you literally could just store up all your stuff, everything you have, put your storage in there, all this stuff. It was so much space left over. And then they said, then they went and got like this extra space, right? It's supposed to be because there's supposed to be an overflow of people because it was going to be a tremendous crowd. So they got an overflow. They expected an anticipated overflow. They had to break down the overflow because as you can see, here are all those people, the tremendous crowd, unbelievable crowd. Here it is, right? You see all those people? Do you guys see them? No, get your microscope. They're there. There's there somewhere. Get the microscope. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I'm going to tell you guys something. And this is my interpretation of what just transpired. First of all, <clears throat> I've been saying this for a long time, that he does not have the base and the followers and supporters that they try to make you believe that he has. A lot of this stuff is are exaggerations and their falsehoods. They're just, it's not real. They create this impression that he is so strong and his base is so strong. And that's how he's been able to intimidate a lot of Republicans for a long time by making them believe that he has the kind of pool that, you know, he tries to project to the rest of us. But the truth is that doesn't exist. It just isn't real. And that was proven today. It was glaringly apparent in that rally that there, that base that he claims he has just doesn't exist. And what I'm hoping, and the reason why this was so important to me, because honestly, I don't really care about crowd size. That's not really necessarily fully indicative of anything. He's the one who cares about crowd size so much. For him, that is that determines basically how successful you are. The crowd size that you have it dictates and determines how successful you are. So for him, that stuff matters. And he was the one who went out there. It's going to be unbelievable. Many people are saying, did many people say that they weren't going to show up? <laughs> because you keep saying many people are saying they can't believe this. Did many people say that they can't believe how many people did not show up? Just let us know if that happened. But <clears throat> nevertheless, the thing about this guy is that for him, those kind of things matter. And so for him, you can't imagine what's happened to his ego, realizing that all these people just did not even show up. Not only were you not able to fill up that overflow area, you weren't even able to fill up the arena that you reserved for that. And part of the reason why is because allegedly these K-pop fans bought up a lot of these tickets. You guys weren't even discerning enough because you presumed that people actually cared about this guy enough. What I hope is that Republicans will start to wake up and recognize that, look, this guy is not as popular. You can go down with the Trump Tannic if you want to, but he's not as popular as he tries to project himself to be. The, the reality is that he's just sitting there trying to make everybody believe that he has this like stronghold over this country. He just doesn't. And that was apparent in this particular rally. You were in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're not talking about you were in New York City or Chicago or Seattle or some kind of like very liberal part of the country. You were in a place where you literally destroyed Hillary Clinton in 2016 and you were not able to pull in 19,000 people. 
And I'm not saying that bringing in, you know, thousands of people is, 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 is an easy thing to do, but you're the president of the United States. You should be able to pull in at least a few thousand people like you were able to pull in this thing. And it's so embarrassing that even the pictures he showed afterwards doesn't show all the empty seats. There was one picture that I'm going to show you where there was one guy sitting by himself. <laughs> and it was all blue, which was like indicative of the, of the, the next election. So I'm not going to stay on here long. I just wanted to drag him and I wanted to make sure that the record is clear because there are a lot of people trying to show pictures of previous rallies or show images that have nothing to do with him and trying to present it, present it as if it's, that was a rally that he had in Tulsa. No, the rally he had in Tulsa was a complete bust. It was an absolute failure. It is humiliating. And this is, this is his fault because you went out there and you were bragging about this rally that you're about to have during the coronavirus epi- um, pandemic. And you're bragging about having over a million people in there, no precautions for, to protect people from you know, the, the virus. And look at what ended up happening. Not only did you, you put people's lives at risk, your, your entire rally was a bust. At a certain point, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm surprised you didn't just walk off and be like, man, people were literally leaving early. They're walking out like, man, this is trash. I'm out of here. Get that. Man, come on. Get the kids. Get the kids. Let's go. Pull the stroller. Push the stroller. Let's go. You know what I mean? People were literally yawning in there, falling asleep. I mean, it was a disaster, an absolute disaster. And this is supposed to be his first campaign for this election season. Good luck the rest of 2020, because if it looks anything like this, you're going to get flogged. You're going to get beaten up so badly in the next election. It's going to be a landslide loss.